let's say now an example as a case study to see how we can develop the state dependent interaction model for microwave oven system uh, the microwave the sequence of the microwave system it's as you know we just the first the user open the microwave door and then insert the food into the oven and then the user insert or entering the the cooking times and press start button but the system set the timer and start cooking so when the time is elapsed so the system stop cooking and stop cooking the food and lastly the user open the door and take the food so here is the sequence of the microwave that we are going to model using the state dependence interaction model there are also another details okay for example when the system when the user open the door there is a sensor the sensor should detect even the door is open or no so if the door is open the system should light the lamp and so on there is another details it's not in this sequence uh, as usual we every we start we, we start from the use case so we should design our use case well and then we can use it for all the other models so we start with this use case we just take only one use case which is cook the food so and then we see how we can uh, model the system as a first step we should to data all the objects okay in our step we have three steps to data the object which is boundary object uh, control object and the last one is other type of object so here is the three steps all is data determine the objects so in this system actually we have software the boundary object the software the boundary objects and the boundary objects it's as we say it's uh, related to the external devices so what device we have here okay as I mentioned we have a sensor to detect even the door is open or no so the other sensor is to check the weight the, and the third device is the keypad input to insert or to enter the day, the times so for each device we should have an external input object and this is communicated with external output device so first we determine the objects so we have you can every time consider the boundary objects as input device and output device so we should have also another type of the of objects but we start with the input device so in this system we have as an input device is door sensor input the weight sensor input and the keyboard input to enter the times so the first one is determine the objects or the internal input device and the second one determine the output device so what device that we have here in this system we have hitting elements output lamp output turn table outputs so each these outputs is is a device so we also create an object for each output device also we have timer timer to measure the times so also we have the oven timer object we have also also the entity objects 
the entity object to store the data, the time of the cooking. So we should have also one entity object to store the data. And the important one, we have a microwave control to control these objects. And this, now if this control objects is depend, depend uh, on other uh, state charts, so we consider this state charts or the interaction model as state dependent charts. So this is the first step, or we can see this is the first three step uh, to determine the objects. Determine the object, the boundary, the state dependence, and other object if there. So the step number four is to determine the objects interactions, the interaction of the objects. So now we determine the objects. So now we determine the object, the interaction of the objects so here we have uh, the sequence or the description of the use case so as we say the cook food use case here is the description of use case of this use case the description actually start with the user open the door and then the system switch on the oven light the user put the food in the oven and close the door the user switch off the oven lights after the door is closing so the user press cooking time button and in the system promit for cooking times the user enter the cooking times uh, on the number keyboard as uh, input device and then start and and then press start and the system start cooking the food and the system and start turn table and switch on the light the system continually display the cooking time reminding so here is all the sequence of the cooking use cases as a main sequence so now how we can develop the interaction or the state dependence interaction we can, in, in general we can say how we can develop the, the interaction model so we can use sequence diagram or communication diagram we can use a sequence diagram or interaction diagram to, for modeling the system so we will use the sequence diagram for modeling this system as we know now before we see the uh, sequence diagram we have a sequence diagram also we have state machine or state chart diagram and this state machine and state charts is working together so there is uh, one event will come from the state chart state uh, sequence diagram and this state diagram uh, st and this event is cause and uh, transition in state machine and the output of the state machine will send back to the state dependence model or interaction model. So here, all the all the objects that we have, if you see here, we have the door sensor, we have the weight sensor, we have the keypad sensor. So this is the input, and so also here. And then we have this is the devices and then we have an object for each devices input object for each device we have here the state dependence control objects we have here the output objects and entity objects so just let's see how the sequence for the first message so now uh, in each message have a scenario so we just study the first scenario of the first message and how it's contact connect with other so is this so the scenario here I mean the sequence here so we have many message the first message is door open the first event so and the second one is 
the door is closed so the third one so the third one is door is closed even sent to here and then the fourth message and then the fifth message and then the sixth message message so we have many message we just want to take we want to understand so in order we have here the many message many message to determine the objects or determine the interaction between the uh, these objects so we will take only uh, for instance uh, the first the first message the first message is number one to explain how the sequence diagram and the state chart diagram it's work together so here we have many message or we can say many events as we see here number one number two number three number number four number five and then here number six seven eight so we have many message and in each one actually it uh, we can say it's similar we have one control the control oven is control the other other message control this message So we start with the first message. Okay, the first. Okay, this is the here we have the sequence diagram for the use cases for the cooking food. Here we have the state charts, the state charts for this state machine. So how the inter how is the scenario is uh, work here or how these two sequence diagram and the state diagram is working together so we just take the first message as an instant to check to know how the sequence and the state chart is working together so the first the state the door it's open once the door is open the input device will send even to the sensors the sensors that's the door is open once the user is open the door the input device will send uh, once the once the door is open <coughs> once the door is open that sensor will receive that the so the door is open and then this sensor will send an event to the microwave ovens that the door is open so the door now the microwave ovens should also send message to lamp that the lamp should be open so here the control the microwave control the microwave oven control object uh, not sent direct to the oven the lamp but there is something here should be done and this thing is that here is the interaction between the state the, the state dependence control action it's control and the state chart so here once the the door is open which is the first message the door is open the message will be sent to the door is open and then We come to the end. Thank you for listening. See you next Monday.